Clive from Columbus, Ohio. It is the MLG Championship, the first for Call of Duty Ghost. And the battle for the title is going down between Team Caliber and Complexity. Caliber, with an incredible comeback and domination, ties up this series as we head into Blitz. And Fwiz, I honestly don't know who can take this one. Do you have a prediction? Is it TK or Cole currently better at this Blitz game it's, mode? It's hard to say. So, like, they both kind of struggle with Blitz, but at the same time, Complexity had that game where they put up 35 points oh. on Blitz. So, because Complexity's gone to overtime three times on Blitz. So, like, clearly the matches have been close, but at the same time, they had that 35 to 3 or whatever brutal beating that it was. So, it's hard to say, but I think Complexity is going to probably take this one. Nice defensive stand there by TK. Aix was threatening. Teep also was in their base on a four kill spree. He was cut short, so the score still 0 0. Remember in Blitz, the objective, get to your opponent's base, jump in that goal. If you do it, it'll teleport you right back home where you can play defense before pushing up again. And so far, it's been Neslo and Teepy doing the damage and the kill call. You're going to see Neslo, his play style totally different than Teepy. He's going to be a positionary player watching the middle. Meanwhile, let's switch over to Teepy next chance we get. He's going to be the player on the attack. And look at this, there is someone inside the oh. goal base, and he just went through. That was Theory. Man, Theory, so that TK is going to be first on the board, picking up a cap as we are going to stay in on board with Theory. And he gets taken out there quickly as a complexity member starting to threaten to get in here. Let's see if they're able to. We're going to jump on board with Neslo, who's working in the middle of that map. This kind of turns into yeah, like a wasteland He's got to watch here. his right, and he just went down. It wasn't TP, but Teep is near the goal. He's working here with Aix once again, I believe, and it looks like Teep is going to oh. slide in, and there we go. It's going to be 1-1. TP answering back after Theory snuck into the base. And we're going to see he has one more teammate in position. Crim6 was actually just cleaned up. That was Aix actually by Sharp. So we're going to have Clayster playing base T. Krim is supporting in the middle. You just saw him at gas. And Teepy's going to try and use this distraction. Gets by Neslo. Oh, no defenders that. at Teepy's the base. Got that. Players coming off the spawn right in front of him. He's going to get a second. Can he get a third? A player oh, coming from Teepy. the middle. He's pre-firing. He knows oh, it's coming. And he no. didn't sprint. He could have just made it in. Yeah, unfortunately, man, the communication was too good. No, and, and he was Gujar waiting for scored. a point around that corner. Yeah, TP should have had that one. He's oh, no. seen better days the way he's Sharp's played that waiting, one out. man. Sharp is on the spot. And Sharp gets another one right after Gunjar. So TK up 3-1 to one in Neslo. He's right there too, yeah, man. Yeah, he's about to make something happen as well. Oh! oh. Goal line defensive Woo. stand there as the kill comes in. That one was scored by, I believe that was Clayster. And Kunj are now on your screen as TK. They're currently up 3-1. Two minutes left in this first half. They're now putting the pressure on Complexity and have them pinned in their base. Kunj are trying to go up top. Gets the kill while Ooh, climbing. Goon. Great kill there. Will he go in for the goal? There are two players to get by. Just spots one. Goon just did the dirty work right there. Trying to get something in. One of his teammates scores. He gets taken out. But Team Caliber puts another one on the board. 4-1 lead. Complexity. Not sure how to score and certainly can't stop this TK Blitz Rush. And look at this, Sharp is inside the motel. If you look at the mini map, it looks like Complexity is gonna be challenging in their base. Sharp doesn't know it, but he has a wide open route right now. He's just gonna be camping, trying to play that position now after waiting so long, realizes no one's oh coming off the respawn gosh. and sneaks in. Team Caliber is on fire in this Blitz game. They're just dismantling the Complexity squad. They don't know how to stop it. And finally, Complexity able to score again. This one's going to be in the hands of Crim6 this time, but still down 5-2 to two here with a minute and four seconds left on the clock. Man, TV needs some teammates at this point. He is 15-8, and eight, probably had the best performance on domination in that previous game as well. He has the cap. He's been putting on the pressure, but the slaying power that we're used to from Complexity is just absent here. And there goes another goal as we're going to see TK rack up six in the first half, still 45 seconds still to go. We're gonna jump on board with Neslo, who has done a pretty darn solid job of locking down the middle, challenging two. He's gonna fall, going to Sharp now. Sharp from Gas is playing defensively as TK. They know they're not gonna get many more points. They just wanna make sure they have a hefty lead going into the half. 
And Sharp gets taken out there. Six to two, Team Caliber in the lead here. 13 seconds left on the clock. Aches pretty close to making something happen over here. There you see him, that white arrow. There are three players to look out for, will not get in. He is cut down short. We're gonna see if any of his teammates can. Krim and Clay in the action. Clay went down, it's up to Krim. Krim gets one, there's one more to beat. Krim gets two, but there was actually a third off the spawn. And TK holds on to a four point lead going into round number two. Man, Ake's shaking his head. Team Caliber just did a phenomenal job in the first half of Blitz there. They worked great as a team. They were able to keep consecutive caps going in there. So six to two, and Fury going 17 he was flexing, man. and seven. 17-7 seven with two caps. Theory going huge. It's crazy to see the objective players also on top of the leaderboard. Most of those kills were scored on defenders and key one-on-one -on -one situations. Theory was just a little bit more clutch. And in the eyes of Theory himself right there, he was smiling ear to ear, gets taken out in the middle again. Only four points down for complexity, but TK looking very uh -oh. strong in this game. <laughs> Nezel goes for the jump shot. He is punished, and TP is going to be sneaking in. You can see on third person, Nezel's going to have his hands on big kill there by TP on the spawn. And these players are really starting to learn how to perfect their blitz game as TP knows the spawns, is set up perfectly, gets one, gets oh two. This will be gosh. his third TP. straight kill. TP looking for a fourth spot behind the Hummer, gets number oh five. Oh my gosh! And he is going to put that one in 23 11, and now he's becoming a super soldier. Oh my god, that was crazy. The three kills he got single handedly to go ahead and score. He's got to, the team's got to rally around him if Complexity wants any shot at here. Cool. He's 23 and 12 with two caps. I mean, no one else on his team is contributing. Clacer's 11 and seven. They got to step up and help him out or TK is going to be able to pull this one out, no problem. Yeah, Aix is playing a pretty similar role to TP. Unfortunately, though, he just has not been able to win those up-close gun battles like TP has. And we're going to jump on board with him to see if he can turn it around. He's the farthest pushed up player. Two players supporting him, as you're going to see Krim and Clay push from the center. And it looks like they've decided not to keep Clayster in the base. Previously, he was purely playing defense. Now he's looking to play mid-map support, as they know they're on the more advantageous side and they need to get in here. TP is going to get another kill. No, he won't. Big shutdown kill there as Sharp is going to keep it a 6-3 advantage. And we should point out, TP, he snuck in once. Zero points so far from TK. They've definitely slowed down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, although the side switch is a cause of that 6-4, but TK lost a little bit of that energy and enthusiasm that they had in the first half. TP waiting for that thing to drop to two more seconds. He is going to retreat since they called it out, but another score is going to come uh -oh. in on the other side at the hands of Team Caliber. So they pick one up, and it's still a plus three favor for TK. Crim6 now starting to come alive in the middle, has a few players pinned inside the motel. There is a player in the motel, Crim. He could just run straight in without being seen. Instead, he's going to try and come from the top. Needs to check his corners to the right. Spots one, sees a second, and now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one in the middle. If Krim can keep the, the opponents occupied, Aix may get a chance to sneak in. It looks like that's not going to happen. Aix with a player directly above him. Needs to be super sneaky here. Dipping oh! and dodging, he's going to slide in. And now it is 7-5. Oh! Just a two-point game, and Aix with a big defensive stand at his base. Oh my gosh, Aix able to slide in there he did take some shots but still able to make it happen only a two-point difference with two minutes left on the board and that's another score for complexity seven to six clayster now gonna sit back play defense for his squad as we jump over to uh -oh. tk theory very close and almost scores but clay locks it down seven to six here this game is really heating up in the last minute and a half i'm looking out for tp here man he's almost at 30 kills remember he entered the half at 17 and I believe 11, now 29 and 17 with three caps to his name. Two of them coming in this round, and he has been the key player. Just watched a player run by, unfortunately, and I believe that's not Neslo. It's going to be Theory sneaking in. Theory could give his team a big boost Boom. here. Fantastic play by Theory, sneaking by two players, not shooting, and going in for the blitz. That was beautiful play by Theory. That's going to give him a little bit more breathing room with a minute and 10 seconds left on the clock here. The nice. goal has reset. And now Complexity trying to desperately get in there to get a cap. 
Complexity's all pushing up, man. Here comes Krim. Atipi's actually going to slide in. Krim also oh, in position they're set up with now. eggs. This is actually a scary setup for Complexity back there. And the key player is going to be Teepee. He's going to spawn the push on the right side, gets the call outs of where they're spawning. Complexity knows that the base is empty, but they need to play defense. Teepee is going to double back. He's in action. He goes down. It's going to be up to Aches now at the base. He can't finish it. Crib Six and Clayster are taking turns capping, oh. but you're going to see TK go through as well. Both teams scoring 10 to 9, 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, and now, now they know that, so Clayster's going to go to there. Gujar, oh, Aix stops him. It's tied up. Oh, my goodness, what Aix just did, stopping it there. And now you've got TP and Aix. They're going to hang back, play defense. Time dwindling down the clock. Krim basically the only one that's going to play overtime. They're, putting, they're going to just push this into an overtime game here with 10 seconds. All four complexity members are going to play defense. And, man, if I'm complexity, I want nothing. I do not want overtime. I do not want overtime here. Wow. They wanted to end it because if we switch sides, man, this TK squad, I can see them beating complexity in the overtime rules, the first to three. But your final kill camp goes to TP, and he deserves it. That was one of his 30 kills that he dropped in that oh game. My not gosh. to mention his four sneaky caps. 30 bomb with four caps. That's good in my book on Blitz. So overtime, if you guys aren't hip to it, basically we play for five minutes, one side, First to three wins, or when that five minutes, if there's a lead, that team wins. So that's overtime in a nutshell. Let's see how it goes down. Again, a valid point, depending on the side that the teams are on, makes a pretty big difference. We'll see what goes down in overtime. Guys, we're going to take a 30-second commercial break as the game gets loaded. Stay tuned. Game number three continues right here on the MLG main stage. It is the championship match, TK versus Complexity.
All right, guys, thank you for your patience during the break. It's time for overtime and quiz. Yeah. How overtime is going to work? One five minute round. That's right. First to three caps are the team that has the most points at the end of that first round. And we're going to, I believe that's right. That's Maybe not. Yeah. F F correct me if I'm totally wrong. Yeah, five minutes, first to three wins or the highest score. And they're going to start on the same sides they started the game on. So that means that TK, if you ask the players, are on the more favored side. They're so, definitely on the more so favored side. So this is going to mean yeah. that complexity needs to change up their play style. They need to really focus on the defense. And we've seen teams like Envy totally lock it down. They played a three-man D and sent just Rambo on the attack. Yep. If I'm complexity, I'm going to let TP be that guy who's going to be pushing forward. And I'm going to keep my guns like Aches, Crim6, and Clayster back at home no, watching totally. that blitz. No, totally. You will play blitz over time in a very different way than you would play blitz in a regular traditional format. So... Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they go with a different strategy here and how they want to execute. So I, I think we should watch complexity because I'm curious to see how they D up on this side. I think TK is just going to let it rip as far as all, all hands on deck going for that goal. Crim's out in the middle of the map, man. They're sending two and they're playing base D with two. It looks like they're going to leave Clay back at home with oh. Higgs. Crim is going to be the first one pushed up with TP. Going around the back, and Keep's going to clear the way. Krim is going to get in here, man. There's one player in position to stop Krim 6 right now, and he was just cleaned up on the far right, as it's going to be Cole with the first cap. Man, and whoever did do, did some cleanup work, though, even though Complexity was able to cap, there was two more Complexity members. TK answers back. They were able to get back, so 1-1 one, one very quickly. And Theory's actually ready, I think, to make another move here. Yeah, Theory's oh, in. Oh, just got and stopped. And he was just stopped, but there's one more player. And meanwhile, Glacer also pushing up. So it's 2-2, two, two, Fliz. And here comes the TK Aix. squad. Glacer needs to play some D. And you're saying Aix, Aix is right is, there. Aix is about to score. Aix could close. Oh, oh he choked big it. stop. Big he stop. He it. A big stop by TK as Aix was waiting for the goal to come back. That was the go-ahead winning goal. He was right there, was not able to come through on it. Now you're going to have an entire TK team that plays way more passive now on the defensive side of things. Yeah, and you can see the change in their game mode. They are now definitely playing three-man base D. Unfortunately, TP will get cleaned up. Clayster's still playing base defense for his squad. We're on board, though, with Theory. And TK has just taken middle map control. We're now watching Gunjar. He goes down, and it's sharp behind enemy lines. Three complexity members sprinting back over. They will clean him up. That was a close one. They got to be careful. Sharp got way too close to that blitz spawn. And man, woo, Trying to find buddy. these pushed up players, oh, man. Oh no. Here we go, Aix is in position. One player to beat, two coming off the respawn. Spots one, gives away his position. Meanwhile, the distraction is gonna free up, I think that's Krim or TP on the left flank. A big kill being scored, and I think they're gonna go in. Unfortunately, he will be stopped. So another breather here. Can Aix sneak his way in? All four members of TK back at the base right now. Oh man, this is intense, dude. This Krim is, is moving up and he's got a free run down the middle here. Instead, he's gonna shoot in the center of the map. And meanwhile, either TP or Aix are sneaking in. It looks like that was TP's attempt. Krim now on your screen, he's gonna battle the player top ladder instead of just charging. Man, there's there's been a few opportunities. They can't see the mini map like we can, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a much oh. easier to be a critique as a commentary when you have a, a commentator has a beautiful map overview to know exactly when you should go in. And this is tough, but look at Clay. He's got to re recognize this push from the back. He's gonna find it. Is that Sharp? And it looks like that player will be stopped. Sharp is in the front though, and they're pushing in. One player behind that blitz Hummer. Oh Sharp my goes gosh, down. man. You can see the Ooh. other base is clear. Both bases, everyone back at home. TP made those two nice kills there to keep that defense. Again, three guys on defense there as another player gets caught off guard. That was Aix trying to get in there. Again, both teams, well, only Complexity is using one offensive member. You still see TK sending two to try to close this one out. I like the aggression that we're seeing from uh, Team Caliber. Down goes one. It's going to be Theory left on the push. Two defenders to get by Clayster back at the base. He's been there all game long, but Theory slides oh! in, and that's going to do it. TK is going to take overtime. He did it right in front of Clayster, too. I bet Clayster is very mad. Oh, he is furious right now. That is going to do it for game 
number three officially going to TK as oh. Theory gets the game winning capture. What a round though. I'm loving Blitz amongst the top oh, squads. Dude. Blitz Blitz has been I I I've, I've loved playing or playing Blitz, watching Blitz, casting Blitz. I think it actually is starting to work out really well here and I enjoyed that matchup. All but right. TK they lost the first search and destroy. They won the respawn game modes. They took domination. Now they have a win in blitz. But game number four, it's another search and destroy. And complexity is still officially unbeaten, unbeaten when SND. it comes to SND. Yeah, but man, TK is a really good search team. And now they've got that lead in the series. And you've got to be a little nervous now. And Sovereign's not a map anymore. It's out of the pools. So they've already played it. We'll see if Complexity can tie it up at two apiece. Game number four, Search and Destroy, is coming up after this commercial break.